throughout our lifetime, we embark on something psychologists call the hero's journey. And this is the quest to find our unique potential so that we can live life as the best version of ourselves. Now, within each of us is what psychologist Carl Rogers called an actualizing tendency. And this is this ability within us to reach our true potential. And this stems from something psychiatrist Carl Jung actually called individuation, which is this innate desire within us to be our best. Now, this thinking dates back to the time of even Aristotle, who suggested that when you actually do reach your true potential and live as your best self, you achieve this state that he called eudaimonia, which could be translated as meaning, happiness, well-being, or even human flourishing. Now, when we live in this zone of authenticity, we feel happy, we feel fulfilled. However, a real necessary part of this hero's journey involves trials and tribulations. And, and from these, we, we learn, we grow, we develop in maturity and wisdom. Before this journey can begin, we need to recognize that change is required. And, and psychologists call this the call to change. And you can recognize this through your feelings and emotions. So you might feel an inner unrest or a dissatisfaction with life or your career. Now, in recognizing these emotions, this becomes your cue to begin this hero's journey. To support you on your hero's journey, I created the AMI cycle of potentiality. Let's have a little look. The AMI cycle has four stages. Activate, motivate, mature and evolve. Activate is the start of the cycle involving the activation of your true emotions, enabling an understanding of how you feel about where you are today. The second stage, motivate, encourages the discovery of who you are and what ignites and drives your passion. The third stage, mature, brings activate and motivate together to assess what it is you want and how you can go about achieving your desires. Evolve is the final part of the cycle where you reflect on the growth accomplished and what you want to achieve next. As becoming you is a continuous journey of growth, so is the cycle of potentiality. It reactivates when new emotions make you question what you want. In each stage of the ME cycle of potentiality, there's a want for growth and change. Now, this want tends to be an open house invitation for our friend fear to join us. Now, desire and fear, they're a brilliant combination. The motivation to act, it comes from this internal desire for this want for change. And, and where there's fear, there's a real opportunity to grow and develop. Fear can really be your friend when managed well. Now to face fear, you need to ignite the courage that's already within you. And this courage helps you to understand the message that fear is bringing to you. And it enables you to start this quest on your hero's journey to this more fulfilling and happier life. If you choose to ignore the call to change and be controlled by fear, not only will you stagnate, but you'll be regularly reminded because the call to change just doesn't go away. Remember, it's this innate desire within you. But when you do decide that you want to accept the call to change and proceed with courage, then the door opens to a more meaningful and happy life. My philosophy is that we've all got this potential within us. It's just that somewhere along life's journey, we've disconnected with it, but we've all got the ability to reconnect. And we can do this by listening to our emotions, the voice of fear, and connecting with our inner courage. The work I do embraces the courage model of change, something that I've developed based on coaching techniques and positive psychology. Let's take a look. Clarity asks what is going on now. 
It's being able to understand your life as it is now and what makes it happy or meaningful for you. Now, Aristotle suggested that the goal of life is to be happy, but a happy life looks different to each of us. The search for happiness and meaning can be a challenging quest and it requires us to examine our lives and uncover who we really are. Often we can be caught up in busyness and habits that make it difficult for us to see who we really are. Oneness asks, who am I? It's understanding who you really are and what makes you authentic. Now in this zone, you act from the heart. It's being perfectly comfortable in your own skin because you're driven by your innermost beliefs. It's all about getting to know what you believe in, what excites you, what your talents are, what's important to you and what you're curious about. Uniqueness asks, what motivates me? It liberates you to be your authentic self each day. Now this doesn't mean being perfect, but it means being engaged with the process of growth, which involves striving to use your talents, live your values and learn from your experiences. Now the motivation to live this way comes from the desire for change and improvement. It comes from a vision of what your best life could be. Now unlocking this vision can be a challenge because our view of ourselves and our capabilities can be restricted. Reason asks, what stops me? It gives you the ability to explore and challenge your fears to use them for growth. Often, the reason we feel stuck is because we're afraid to act. And this fear is present because it holds a message for us. It tells you something isn't right and needs to change. Now, when reasoned with and interpreted, it can give direction towards positive change. AIM asks, what do I want? It's about understanding what it is you want to accomplish or change. When the misty cloud of fear is put to one side, it enables the setting of authentic intentions or goals that will instigate purposeful action. GROW asks, what am I experiencing and learning? It concerns the action of doing, being and experiencing. Now, breaking down your intentional goal into manageable steps can really help support progress and make it feel less intimidating and more achievable. As you grow and engage in new situations, fear will always come back, but it's in engaging with it where growth happens. Evolve asks, what have I achieved and what is next? As we evolve, we design new challenges to support the happy or meaningful life. Now, taking time to reflect on progress and new desires is really important for continued personal development. By seeing our growth, we become more resilient and believe we can make changes. Furthermore, by checking in with our emotions, we can see what's working well and what needs to change, thus resuming the cycle of change. In answering these questions, Courage provides the learning and tools to support growth towards your potential. <laughs>